It has been a wild week for the failed former president. Pictures of documents in his toilet are published. The FBI raids his house. He had to testify, uh, be deposed by the attorney general, Letitia James, in New York this morning, at which we now learn Donald Trump pleaded the fifth on every question, something he used to say only the mob and guilty people did. And now there's an extraordinary new report from Rolling Stone that Donald Trump is desperately seeking not companionship, but a criminal defense lawyer after that FBI raid inside Trump's frantic hunt for killer criminal defense attorneys. Behind closed doors this summer, Trump and his advisors have been narrowing the short list of criminal defense attorneys he'd need to take on the Justice Department. The former president has had preliminary conversations with Tim Parlatore, a lawyer best known for successfully representing an accused war criminal about possible legal strategies should the Department of Justice escalate its probe or hit Trump with charges. Trump's conversations with Parlatore and other newly retained attorneys are part of his broader push to assemble yet another new legal team, both for current legal woes and any future ones coming up from the FBI and Biden era Department of Justice. Trump has been quizzing confidants. What do you think of specific criminal defense attorneys throwing out names big and obscure? In other words, as one advisor describes it, Trump is conducting the apprentice avoid federal prison edition. Monday's FBI raid of Mar-a-Lago will likely intensify that search, intensify that search. We are going to potentially see uh, a Donald Trump over the next couple of weeks that is unlike any that we have seen before. Now, in terms of representing Trump, there's this question of Trump is known for not paying his attorneys. So why would an attorney agree to work for Donald Trump? Well, there's two different answers to that question. One, even if they assume they're not going to get paid because Trump stiffs people, it might be worth it essentially pro bono, not deliberately pro bono, but essentially pro bono after the fact for the notoriety of representing a former president. That would be one answer. The second part of it is that at least for now, we still believe that the Republican National Committee is paying Donald Trump's legal bills. Remember that early last week or late the week before I mentioned to you that the RNC gave Trump an ultimatum. If you declare yourself a candidate for 2024 before the midterms, we will stop paying your legal bills. And it seems that the RNC has decided both number one, that it would be bad for their midterm chances if Donald Trump declares his candidacy too early. And number two, that they would rather pay his legal bills than to have him be, I guess, not represented by attorneys in many of the different problems that he's having. So it's going to be a wild couple of weeks. People have been emailing me saying, what's the timeline on the next thing? Like, OK, there's been a raid. What's the next thing? When is the next thing? We don't know the answer to that. But the bad news for Trump simply does not stop. The David Pakman show's longest running sponsor is Blinkist, the app that takes thousands of nonfiction books, boils each of them down into an explainer you can read or listen to in 15 minutes. Blinkist also condenses episodes of popular podcasts into 15 minute explainers. I've been using Blinkist for years to supplement the books I read. I love reading. I, I read all the time. But there's even more books I don't have time to read. And you can often find those nonfiction books on Blinkist and consume the entire thing in 15 minutes. My favorite new feature on the app is Blinkist Connect, which lets you share your Blinkist premium account with someone else. You basically get two accounts for the price of one. And then you can also share Blinkist books and podcasts between users. I have a joint Blinkist premium account with my girlfriend Blinkist Connect lets us sync together what books and podcasts we're listening to on Blinkist sparks many interesting discussions. We just listened to Robert Greene's The 48 Laws of Power, the new version. Robert Greene, super interesting writer, find his books fascinating. You can try Blinkist free for seven days and get 25 percent off a premium subscription at Blinkist.com slash David Pakman. The link is down below.